he's a complex character. You know, he's an agent, and so his his day to day life moves really fast. Uh, but he also has gone through a lot. He lost both of his parents, and so there's a lot of emotional baggage that he's dealing with. Um, so as you watch his 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 growth and his trajectory at the agency, you see some of the 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 real parts of his life playing into that, and you watch him really mature. The guy that you see in the opening scene in this movie is so much different from the the the, the guy at the end. And you know, I've played a lot of characters where you know he, there, it's kind of one note. You're, you're the same guy the whole time, and there might be a little bit of a twist at the end. But I've never been able to really dig into a character that had so much growth. You get to really you know dig your hands into all aspects of the film and and be a part of making it great. Uh, Queen Latifah and, and Shaquem and, and Yanli and their whole team at Flavor Unit, they've been great mentors and they've really helped me through the process. But it was it was really fun to, to be able to, you know, make sure that Paula Patton's experience on set was good. You know, Donald Faison has an idea about his character, working out the scene development with him, you know, looking at the days and making sure we made time and made budget. You know, I think that with with all the things I've been able to do in my career, this has been the most challenging and the most rewarding. It's not a thing where, you know, we can lean on, you know, one or two guys. It's it's like you find these funny moments from Brandy Norwood. You find Callie Hawk with with a big laugh. And it's like, you know, you're you're not expecting it. And then it's like something that just makes you bust out laughing. And that's what's so funny about this movie and, and so great about this film is that it's nothing like you expect. It's just a different ride. We shot The Perfect Match in L.A. And so many films nowadays are, are shot, you know, in Toronto, Atlanta, you know, New York, Montreal, just all over the world. It's, it's almost like it's, it's, it's rare to shoot a movie a actually in Hollywood. Uh, and one of the days on set, you know, Donald Faison, who's, you know, worked in this town for years and years, was like, oh, my God, today's the first time I actually get to shoot on Sunset Boulevard. And we blocked off Sunset for a big scene in the movie. And, you know, you, you just L.A. becomes a character in this film. You know, one of my favorite scenes are Cassie and I were walking out of a fat burger uh, right there on Santa Monica. And you can just feel the texture of the town. Anybody who's a fan of those original movies will feel like they're excited to see a modern day version of that for the young people that are experiencing love for the first time. It really focuses around three different couples and relationships. Uh, you have um, one couple, uh, played by Donald Faison and Dasha Polanco, that are struggling to have a child. So we watch that story arc play out through the film. Uh, then you have another couple, played by Rob C. Riley and Lauren London, um, where Lauren London has a promotion and she's, you know, making considerably uh, more money than than the man in the relationship, played by Rob Riley. So you watch his struggle because they're getting married and she wants bigger things things in the wedding that he might be able to afford. So you watch that dichotomy play out as well. Cassie Ventura, who plays Eva uh, against me, um, who, you know, I, I, we're both kind of players and, and I lose. You know, she, she's the dominant player in that for the first time I meet my match. Any couple that goes to watch this film is going to see something in there that they can relate to. They're going to look and they're going to say, that's us. The thing people will be talking about when they leave, uh, even more so than, than my performance or anybody else's performance in this film, is how much Cassie really just steals the show. And, you know, from a producer standpoint, that you can't ask for anything more than your lead girl. You know, you're, you're, the, the, I mean, she kills it. And people are, she's going to work in this town from here on. I learned more working with her than I think any actor I've, I've worked with uh, just because of the way she works. She was so prepared. Um, the, the way she looks at you in the eye without breaking contact um, is something that I'm, you know, I'm going to steal that from her because she, she, she has a way of like really, you know, capturing you.